All right, Rob's backyard RC. You guys already know the spill. So we got the kaiju on the workbench today. I finally got my warranty motor from Red Cat, and then they also warranty my ESC for me too. And then I uh, had my local hobby store change over the uh, plugs over to EC5 plugs for me, so we don't have no overheating issues due to trying to run 6S. All right, so let's just get at it here. So here's a couple things about my kaiju. As you can see, it's got the aluminum. It has all the aluminum upgrades that the Red Cat sells. And then I have 23 mil um, wheel extensions on here. And then I have like the sway bars. Like I said, I have all the stuff that Red Cat sells that you can buy for it. And then my upper arms are actually been upgraded. These are Arma turnbuckles, uh, five mil turnbuckles. This has all been retapped and dyed and all that with bigger plastic ends and stuff too so they don't break so easily. A lot of people have been having problems with that snapping. So we'll see how it goes. Been holding up pretty good so far so I got no complaints. So I'm gonna get at it and then on, I have this dual motor fan heat sink that actually has a, uh, a thermostat on it. This doesn't kick on until the motor hits 100 degrees. I got that off of uh, Amazon. So, anyways, let's uh, get after this. We're gonna put the motor onto the pulley and whatnot. So, put you guys over here in my holder. There we go. Face it more towards the table, probably, and move the kaiju out of the way for the time being. Alright, so, I'm gonna open this up. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people complaining about their warranty stuff, but uh, I had no issues with them. I contacted them, I told them that the motor was making this high pitched squilling noise. They said, take it off, send it in to us, we'll check it out. Uh, if we need to replace it, we'll, re we'll replace it. They got back to me within one business day of receiving it, and they replaced it, no problem. So I got no complaints there, that's for sure. for sure which way this uh, motor plate goes on this motor so I'm gonna look that up real quick hold on all right so we got that let's get going here got our Loctite here we go to Loctite motor screws snug that one in. I always like to get all the screws in first before we go torquing stuff down, you yeah? know? Make sure everything is uh, fitting in nice and easily. You shouldn't be having to force anything together. Visit 
For some reason, this is not laying up. I don't know why, but it's not. This dog, man. With loose, right. got that on there now. Next, we got this 11 tooth pinion that I'm gonna put on here because I don't have. I have the 10 tooth, the uh, original, but it's all chewed up and whatnot. It works out anyways because the uh, 10 tooth is just this thing's just too torquey on that anyway. Mostly, you can make out her shoulder and her arms. She looks like she might have longer hair, and you can see like where her dress kind of flows out. It's kind of like a wider brand skirt. Not a contemporary look, but for a long and dandy, that dates back to the mid-19th century. It might just add up. Hugs are so frequently an epicenter of paranormal activity because they are gathering places for the entire community. Additionally, they are locations here? where immense human oh, emotion is expressed, from tragedy to joy to sorrow, all in the same spot and at the same time. So if the spirit is looking for energy that they can share in, that they can utilize to make themselves more present, somewhere like the bar or a Now we just gotta put it in the kaiju. So let's get that set up. Alright, so got our kaiju motor. We gotta use that. This one's gotta come out real fast. This thing just hooks in here like so. See, there's a little hook right here on this thing. This hooks in like so. And then you just put this in like so. Alright, then from there, we just kind of set this where we gotta have.
You just want just a tiny bit of rock back and forth on that. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking right there is good. I just gotta rub this in now. So I'm gonna run this screw down right there and get that set. Record. Alright, so I kind of got that set where I want it. So we just want this to have just a just that little bit of just that tiny bit of movement without the pinion moving. You got it like that, you're good to go. So I'm going to tighten that down now. Alright, so all I'm doing right here is just tightening this little nut right here nice and slowly so it doesn't move my my motor mount. I need a different wrench for this crap. This shit doesn't work very well. Alright. I might have to get a damn Allen wrench for this. Yeah, alright, I gotta grab an Allen wrench real fast. Okay, so... Too big. Don't tell me I didn't grab the right size. Too small. This one's it. So, from there, that should be good. We should have just a little bit of, hear that? That should be perfect right there. All right, so that's all good to go there. I need to tighten up this bottom screw down here. There's one screw that comes through right here, tightens up this very bottom piece. And then, uh, pop, take out this ESC, put this thing in there. And then uh, put the heat sink back on and we're good to go. For... I know this is set, so we're going to go ahead and put that cover back on real fast. So that part's done real quick. That's done now. We got. Like I was saying, there's just one. There's one that is right here in the car. So I gotta get my long ass screwdriver in there. So I just, what I do is I just go down in between the uh, the uh, sway bar and the A-arm by pushing down a little bit. It allows my wrench to get straight in there. And then I just torque that down real good. Now that Kaiju motor is in there nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. That's good to go. Alright. Can't really do much about this. Heat sink thing because I had to pull this ESC out of here. So let's do that real fast. Pretty quick, easy, easy peasy type shit. This ESC comes out of here. 
by removing these two screws. Let's get the right thing over here. Those are the two screws that are going into that ESC right there. So over here, and we'll uh, pop this thing out of here. Mind you, that's got glue in there too, so it's not going to just spring on out of there. So, alright, so let's get this. We got this. Get this out of my way real fast. Mind you, I should have put this thing in there when I had the uh, motor out, but I got that pinion mesh set so good that I'd rather pry this ESC out of here by the two screws and then just retape it down versus trying to reset that mesh. I mean, for the fact that I set it that quick, that easy. That was a miracle. Sorry, that. Let us get in here and clean this up. Alright. Got that out of there. There's a fox still there. Alright, now we got this bad boy. This just slides in there now. Like so. What a bam. This thing comes like this. The chief has personally assigned us a case once it's top priority. Absolutely, what is it? Robbery and aggravated assault. Line up these holes. Bam. Good to go. Alright, now we need our screws set up. I'm hoping our... Right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. There's two right there. Make sure they're nice and snug. Okay, and then there's two on this other side. Obviously, it's two and two. For the heat sink, and then that's done. Work your style without overworking your hair. For salon quality hair at home, trust me, pure to repair with Bond Plus technology. Build new hair bonds with every wash. Get 20 times stronger hair with care to repair. Part of the new trust me pro collection. All right, that sounds good. Alright, 
so that's on there. No point in continue torquing that down. I'm gonna break something. Okay. So we got that, that. I need to put some new tape on the bottom of this ESC. I need to rehook this to the back of this motor. So I'm going to hit pause real fast while I reposition this camera and so you guys can see what I'm doing. Or the truck, one of the two. Something's gotta happen. There you guys go, I guess. I don't know. Alright. I haven't really quite figured out what's the best way to hook this thing to the motor, so I've just been using casting tape to hold it here. It hasn't failed me yet. So. Except for when I don't make the piece of tape big enough. It's not really a very good angle for you guys to see what I'm doing right here. Boom. Alright, now we gotta get some double-sided sticky ESC tape and alcohol wipe and wipe this down real fast, wipe this area so everything sticks nice and good. So let's get that real quick. In the process of getting some alcohol wipes and stuff, we've got all kinds of cop cars and caution tape out here. I figured I'd show you guys real fast. I have no clue what happened. I didn't even hear anything. Starfire, hush. <laughs> That's enough. Crazy dog. Leave them alone. They're doing their job. I don't know what happened. I did hear a loud boom. Uh, they have caution tape. They blocked off that section of the road, and they had a guy out of a car. So I'm assuming that there's probably a drunk driver fatality type situation going on. That's usually what happens. That could have been very much me a year ago if I didn't straighten up. I was on that same path right there. All right, so I got my alcohol wipe. Just eggs. And Our I'm just going to clean the bottom of this off. And it's nice and clean. And then I'm going to clean the bottom of this off where it sits so it's nice and clean with alcohol so that double sided sticky tape has no problem sticking there. It's actually called ESC tape. And uh, it works way better than just. Regular double-sided sticky tape, I should actually clarify that. It's actually called ESC tape, but it's like just industrial double-sided sticky tape is what it is. Alright, so now we just gotta let that dry, and then we can get our tape, stick it to the bottom of that, and then stick that ESC back in, and the kaiju is good to go. Alright. Yeah, actually, that's what got me in the RC cars 100% like full bore is I ended up on uh, house arrest actually for uh, a year for drinking and for getting a DUI. And uh, I'm actually thankful that that happened because. That could very well be me out there in that fatality car accident out there, and I'm glad it's not.
Is that cool? All right, now that we got that stuff on there, that goes in there. Turn this like this. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this part or what, but it's actually kind of a pain in the butt. We got to line this up through the thing and then stick these through there and hope that uh, they get that all in one shot. It's kind of a wackadoo situation. So I don't know if that's going to get caught on camera 100% here. Sometimes that Willy bar is a pain in the ass. Now, if I did this correctly, the screw will go in this thing. Oh, look at that. And I did. Alright, let's get that other screw and get it in. Oh, I grabbed it. Alright. I've actually never had that go that smoothly when it comes to putting the ESC, sticking it back on there and having these screws light up that good. That was actually a miracle that that lined up that good. So now we'll just get that tightened back down. Remember, it's just plastic threads, so you're not torques and shit down. That's why you got that tape in there too. It's a combination of the two helping each other out to make that work. Alright, so all that's really left now is the wires, which is easy. That's the easy part. So, we got... Orange. We got blue. Okay. And we got yellow. Girls' eggs don't start to mature until they hit puberty. You don't want to be eight. We should take with high dose estrogen treatments. We only did one collection cycle. I'd be a surrogate. You'd be giving birth to your own grandchild. Okay, so we got that. It's not 100% how these wires ran through here before, but it really went some shit like this. Have you been bothered by anybody from the Values Defense League? No. And you really think that carrying on your family name Justifies putting Alicia through fertility treatments. That wasn't the original. Right. Administration is assigned so, an experimental procedure she's undergoing. To do what? There we go. Why? <sighs> Alicia doesn't understand words, but like baby, she reacts to tense voices. Let's take this downstairs. I believe it looks something like that prior. So.
All right, there you go. And she's all done. Red Cat tied you repaired. So, that we turned and we replaced the motor. We did remove the ESC, put it back in. We add a new pannion gear, reset it. We have an 11 tooth now, because that's all I had. I don't have any other teeth. That's probably why my lights don't work in the back. I has, what happened is I had a big ass battery, a 6S battery come loose because my battery straps broke and it bounced around in here and it tore up a bunch of shit. That's what happened. This is why we're having to do all this crap. But uh, we got it all fixed and the kaiju should be back out and mashing before you know it. We got it all. I just got the motor today, so it wasn't like I was lagging. I don't need the embryos with death sense attached. I don't need to research. That's like clinic out and we'll have to disturb. Yeah, well, after all of that, my doctor refused to implant one of my healthy embryos. He discriminated because of the size. No, because of my babies. He wanted to use an embryo that would become what you call normal size. I wanted an LP. Oh, an LP? Another person? You wanted to purposely create a child with a disability? Size is not a disability. We have normal life spans and lives. Why shouldn't I be allowed to have a child who looks like me? Everybody else can. So if you weren't allowed to, why should all those other parents, right? I think someone would have All right, there we go. Red Cat Kaiju is done, and then we're going to save this ESC right here that I got from them until this switch quits working 100%. I keep jerry-rigging it, and it keeps getting by, but I don't think it's going to last much longer. But there you guys go. Hit like and subscribe. Red Cat Kaiju, motor replaced, new pinion gear, 11 tooth. Much more videos to come. Thanks for watching. This kid's going to be pissed. Cryo will keep spinning down the